Hello, today I'll show you how to fix the error C3100 on any Kyocera printer. So basically there are uh, four things that could cause this error on your printer. Number one is uh, your scanner lock. If you open the head of your scanner as if you want to make a photocopy, there's a lock there. It depends on your own model. Some model doesn't have that lock. But if yours has the lock and it is locked, the positioning of the lock is set to lock. It will hang the scanner head itself and the scanner head will not be able to move and it can come up with that error. Another thing that could cause the error is that particular uh, scanner flex you can see over there. So the scanner flex is attached to the motherboard and the other end is connected to your scanner head that moves back and forth. This can cause that error. Another thing that could cause the error is your scanner head itself, the one that moves back and forth when you make a photocopy. That can cause the error. And the last but not the least, which is actually a major issue, is the one I'm going to be fixing today, your scanner board. So I will assume that um, you've been able to troubleshoot and check every other um, factors that could cause that error and you can't fix it and you've settled for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is to disconnect the power cord and then um, take this printer to a bigger table where I can be able to open it up and then you see how we solve this problem. Now this is the, the printer is on a bigger table right now and I have another scanner board. I got the scanner board somewhere online and then in case you don't know where to get it, you can just hit me up in the comment section and then I will give you a link to where you can get this particular scanner board. So this is another scanner board and I'm going to be replacing it with this. To be able to do that, I'm going to take out uh, the casing on the right hand side. That is where your logic board is and your scanner board is also. The scanner board actually sits on top of your logic board. So we are going to take that out and then we'll solve the problem. In case you haven't done already, I'd like you to like and subscribe to the channel. I have good videos on how to repair different office equipment. Just check it out and then like and subscribe. And then you can get a notification when my videos come out. So to do um, take out the covers, I'm going to remove the screw at the back. So this screw, I am going to remove the screw so that I can pull out this plastic at the back of the printer. So I can pull out the screw at the back of the printer and then I remove the right hand uh, cover. To be able to remove this um, right hand cover, you have to pry it open gently from um, the bottom of it, the bottom of the printer. If you do not pry it open, you might end up breaking this plastic. So get a flat screwdriver and then pry it open the way I'm doing right now. That way, the plastic will come off easily. set the camera so that you see what I'm doing. The uh, plastic on the right hand side actually have uh, a hook on that. So if you do not pry open the hook and the plastic, you will end up breaking the plastic. So that is why I'm doing this right now. You can see the way I was able to pry it open so that I can get access to the hook on that. So you can see the board, this scanner board is actually sitting on top of the main logic board itself. So that is where, where I'm going to be 
place it today with another one so what i'm going to do right now is gently detach the cable that is attached to it and then i'll remove the screw and replace the motherboard you have to be very careful when detaching the cable so as not to break any of the cable and if possible if this is the first time of doing this you can take a snapshot of the positioning of the cables and the wires or take a picture of it so that you know where each cable goes to because a wrong move in fixing a wrong cable in another board can damage the board completely so you have to be very careful make sure the right cable is going into the right board so as not to damage the, the board so is the old one and this is the old one so I'm fixing the cable and then connect all the cables back and the problem should be solved by then so I gently tighten the screws and then attach all the cables Okay, so all the cables are in place right now. I've been able to attach all of them to, to the board. The next thing I'm going to do is to power on the printer. And the problem is, is solved. So if you still have any other question, you can just hit me up in the comment section and then I will give you uh, answers to, to that. So thank you and I'll see you some more.